How do you get beyond a feeling of constantly feeling overwhelmed in life? Of even feeling panic? Even anxiety? Robert Louis Stevenson once said this, Quiet minds cannot be perplexed or frightened, but go on in fortune or misfortune at their own private pace like a clock during a thunderstorm. In Psalms 94 verse 19 it says, When my anxious thoughts multiply within me, your consolations delight my soul. Anxious thoughts multiply. They do. They grow upon themselves and they can take over your life if you let them. We live in a world that seems to invite panic, don't we? Everywhere we turn, we're confronted with images disturbing that, that cry out, all is lost. And if we buy into this, in our human mind, we give up. We quit trying. But with God, in faith, there is always hope. God enables us, indeed God calls us, to live above that level of anxiety. God created us to live by faith, not by fear. And God continually instructs us to trust God completely. Not the ways of the world, but to trust in God this day and forever. But sometimes, if we're honest, trusting in God seems extremely difficult, especially when we get caught up in the incessant demands and worries of an anxious world. When you feel anxious, and you will, turn your thoughts to God and to God's love. Take your concerns to God and remember God's love and your concerns to God in prayer will cleanse your whole mind, your body, your soul. To the best of your ability, after you take your concerns to God, leave them there. Don't pick them back up and take them with you to ride on your back. God is capable of handling your problem a billion times more than you are. God is capable, and God has promised to help you. God has promised to comfort you, and God will if you just trust in God. So today, let us live above the level of yesterday's anxiety.